Hey everyone, Sean Stevenson here, author of the Throne series, and I am back with another review, this time of Heebie Jeebies, book number four, Uncle from Another Planet. So this book, oh boy, this one is a fun, fun book. If you don't know anything about the Heebie Jeebies book, the Heebie Jeebies books are a Christian kind of Goosebumps knockoff series. And while Spine Chillers is also a Goosebumps knockoff series for Christians, the Heebie Jeebies series actually has some legitimate danger often in the storylines. And it actually has some scary things that are not always explained. And Uncle from Another Planet, we got to talk about this book. Have you ever stayed with a relative who maybe when you're growing up, you didn't really know a lot about them or you didn't know them very well, but you had to stay with them? Well, in this book, the kids are looking at their uncle that they're staying with and they're wondering, is this our real uncle or is this uncle from another planet? I read this book very quickly because I had to know what was going to happen. I just really wanted to know. And I will admit, I did not guess the ending. I kept thinking like, oh, maybe it's this, or maybe this is what's going on, but I could not guess what was happening at all. And the entire time I just kept wondering like, what are they gonna do with this? How are they gonna explain this? Where are we gonna go with this? The kids, Jeremy, Angie, and Ryan, head off to stay with their uncle. Jeremy and Ryan are brothers, and Angie is their cousin. And they're off to go stay with this uncle because their parents are all going on a cruise together. They have a younger brother named Dylan who's staying with an aunt who lives in an apartment in the city and didn't have room for all four of them. So the three of them are going out into the middle of nowhere on a farm where their uncle Alan lives. And when they get to Uncle Alan's house, I just gotta say, the setup in this book was genius. There was so much great eerie setup that led you to believe so many different things throughout the storyline. So I just gotta say a couple of these things. Uh, this is a non-spoiler review, but it will it will help you if you are on the fence, thinking about reading this book, if you really want no spoilers at all, skip ahead like 30 seconds to a minute. So at the beginning of this book, they're driving out to their Uncle Alan's house. And Ryan is kind of the main character that we follow. And Ryan's talking to his younger brother, Dylan. And Dylan is drawing pictures in the backseat as they're driving for hours on end into like cornfields and through the fields and all these things. And the younger brother is drawing pictures of stuff that they haven't come to yet. So he draws a picture of a gas station with a little black dog out front. And when Ryan asks what the little, little, little black thing is that's on the picture, the brother says, that's the black dog. And they get to the gas station and there's a black dog there. And then he draws a couple other things of coming up down the road. And finally, Ryan asks Dylan, can you draw a picture of what's gonna happen next to us? And so he draws a picture of this farm and the three kids, Angie, Jeremy, and Ryan, and there's three lights above them. And Dylan, the little brother, says they're going to be abducted by aliens. So Ryan is believing 100% what's happening here because he's thought, my little brother predicted these other things along the road. Maybe he can predict this. What's interesting too, when they get to the farm, Uncle Alan is not there. And it's this huge three-story Victorian house that they're staying at. And when they get there, they're kind of like waiting for Uncle Alan. He's not showing up. The doors are all unlocked. There's no one around for miles. Like it's a house out in the middle of nowhere. And so they're just waiting and waiting and waiting. And finally the mom says, well, I have to leave because we have to get back to the city. And then I have to go get to the cruise. So the mom leaves them there. The oldest brother is like 14 years old, so it's not like a dangerous situation she's leaving them, but they leave and they the mom and the little brother leave. And so then the kids are left alone in this giant house by themselves. And I just have to say, I'm not gonna say anything else about the plot because that was the eeriest setup. Cause I thought, okay, the mom never saw Uncle Alan. They don't know what Uncle Alan looks like cause I've never met him before. And this is just such a creepy setting for a book. This book starts and does not let up. It just has so many great little setup moments that just lead you down path after path, making you wonder what is happening here. And so 
in this book, you have these characters who are kind of processing through these different things. Ryan is wondering about aliens, like do aliens exist? Is this a real thing? Angie, their cousin, likes to read the Bible and it's actually a little bit like, I don't know what the Bible says about aliens, which I appreciated. Sometimes in Christian books, there's sometimes a character who knows everything and kind of has like all the information and is just like, oh, well, let me tell you a Bible verse about that. Da, 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 da. And in this book, Angie doesn't know everything. And she is along with the ride, questioning, asking questions and wondering what's really going on. So this book has a great setup I kept going and there was one part near the end that I thought what is going to happen here it just was such a great setup and I had so much fun reading this book I will admit I think the very end there is a twist it's not the best twist in my opinion I thought it could have been a little stronger but it was a good twist I thought it was a really well thought out twist for the end of this book so overall I would give this book four stars out of five. It was a lot of fun to read. I had a great time. It's in the Heebie Jeebie series, which like I said, these books have been much more intense than Spine Chiller's books, which I appreciate that they were kind of a level up from the Spine Chiller ones. So if you are into books about alien type stuff, or you like a spooky story about kind of desolate locations, and you want like a hope filled kind of story, this is the one for you, Uncle from Another Planet, book number four in the Heebie Jeebie series. So have you ever read this book? Have you read any in this series? I've been enjoying them so far. Everyone I've read so far, I've really actually liked quite a bit. And so if you've ever read any of these, let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you, your experience with them. I never heard of them until this year when I discovered them. They're all from the 90s. They're a lot of fun. They have some of that good 90s nostalgia with, you know, Walkmans and CD players that are just coming out with this anti-skip protection. <laughs> so if you like that kind of stuff, check out this series, Heebie Jeebies. And this one is by Paul Buchanan and Rod Randall. They kind of co-wrote the series, kind of each taking a different turn at it. So let me know in the comments below if you've read this one and we'll talk to you later. Keep reading. Bye.